Okay, we're already over time, so I'm going to have to rush through everything a little bit more than I normally would. Um, so I'm going to keep this here. I think we're at the seventh annual Skeptical, which is really, really Woo And it's great to see all of you here. How many have been to Skeptical before? Nice. And new timers. Everyone, first time. Yay. Oh, that's great. Okay, so you have the schedule in your folder. So I'm probably not going to run through that too much because we're already over time, and that's my other job, keeping everything on time. Um, so we have plenary speakers, and all of the plenary speakers you can find in the schedule will be in this room. And then the breakouts, you'll have one breakout in the main room here. And then the other breakout, especially for people who haven't been here before, the other breakout room is down the hall this way. So if you can find the restrooms, go past the restrooms a little bit more, and that's where the other breakout will be. So main room here, breakout room is over there. Um, we also will have performances. So there will be some performing during the lunch hour, during the evening. And then at the end of the day, we have a magician and comedian who will be happy to welcome back to Skeptical Ryan Payne. So you should definitely stick around for that. Um, in your badges, you should have a raffle card. And so the raffle card is a way to really encourage you, not that you wouldn't already, but to encourage you to visit all of the exhibitors' tables because there will be a prize. So when you go to the exhibitors' tables, make sure to ask them for the secret word. Find that secret word, write those all down, make those into a quote on the back of that raffle card. Put your name on it. You'll submit that to, I think, probably Tucker, who's over there frantically assembling the prize, or me. Yeah. You sign copy of Carl Sagan's Pale Blue Dot quotation. Not signed by Carl, but somebody that you're going to meet today who was involved with the, uh, the project, the Voyager project. It's a pretty good prize. So make sure you visit those exhibitors' tables to see the exhibitors, but also because you could win a prize. If you have any questions throughout the day, anyone who's a member of either the Bay Area Skeptics or the Sacramento Area Skeptics would be happy to help you. You can try to kind of run around and stare at our name cards, which as Jeannie was saying earlier, are down at our navels. Or you can find me and I can try to help you find the answer that you need, since I'm up here. Jeannie's up here, you already know Tucker as well. Oh, and really quick, I did see this on my page, which is very important. The time that you have to get those raffle cards to either Tucker or I is by 4.25. If you submit it to us after, it will not matter if you have the right quote because we won't be able to enter it in the drawing. The other thing that I'd like to mention really quick is that you have a survey in your folder. And so if you have feedback that you'd like to give us about the conference, we would be really happy for you to fill that out and give us some information. Okay, and with that, I'd like to get typo in the schedule. Ah, what is the typo in the schedule? The first break uh, at 10.10, it says at 10.10 to 11 something, and it's actually 10 something. <laughs> yes. Uh, we will, yeah, we'll have that figured out, and I will be up here announcing to everyone that it's time to put that down. So yeah, thank you very much for that. So everyone, there's a typo in the schedule, and we'll work that out and let you know. All right, and with that, I would like to introduce Josh Rosenau, so we can introduce our first plenary speaker. To, uh, to, learn, to get yourselves in alphabetical order by organization. Just sit, Susan, please come up. <laughs> get the chairs in her way. And I, yeah, well, we have, we have all agreed, we have all agreed that you get 30 seconds only from each spokesperson here. And we can make this kind of fun. Uh, don't let them go over. We're going to yank them off the stage if they go over 30 seconds. But you, of course, can spend much more time with them if you'll visit the individual uh, exhibits. So here are the first half, seven of 14 Skeptical exhibitors. Please introduce yourself and your organization. Are you ready, timer? Yep. All right, here we go. My name is Sean Washington. We are the atheist, uh, the, uh, San Jose Athe uh, the atheist community of San Jose. The Atheist Community San Jose is a nonprofit organization for atheists and like-minded non-believers. We are founded and developed to support the atheist community, providing opportunities for socialized, for philanthropy, and friendship. We organize events with guest speakers like Matt Delahunty, 
and think that about sorts of social events like bowling and picnics. We also hold philanthropy events like our upcoming free taker show, uh, Blood Night. Uh, check, out, check us out on Meetup. That's the best way to keep us up to date. Thank you very much for having us up here and uh, have a great conference. Hello, I didn't know I was doing this. My name is Sheldon Helms. I'm the Vice President of Bay Area Skeptics. You can check us out at baskeptics.org. We have monthly meetings where we have wonderful speakers, and then once a month we go get drunk and no break. So come see us and learn. My name is Jim Barnett, and I'm uh, in the Bay Area Humanist. We have a variety of different programs, talks, and social activities, social service, and we are a chapter of the American Humanist Association. And we are uh, we promote humanism, and our definition of humanism is a progressive philosophy of life that, without theism or other supernatural beliefs, uh, uh, affirms our ability and responsibility to lead ethical lives of personal fulfillment that aspire to the greater good of humanity. And my my elevator speech is: We're not only just people who want to do good in the world. Good morning, everyone. I'm David Diskin with Camp Quest, and this is a repeat after me limerick. With fresh air, green grass, and whatnot. With fresh air, green grass, and whatnot. And data that we've learned to plot. And data that we've learned to plot. The great outdoors. The great outdoors. Is never a bore. Is never a bore. When you've got fun, friends, and free thought. <laughs> Come by and check us out. Thank you. Hello, I'm representing the Central Valley Alliance of Atheists and Skeptics. We're a community located in Fresno. Our website is at cbaas.org. CBAS is a secular and skeptical community that enjoys working with other rational groups in the California Central Valley and outside of there. We hold activities all year round. Our big annual event is called the Heretics Barbecue. <laughs> held in late October. You are all invited to come to the Heretics Barbecue and all of our other events. Check us out. Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'm Alex Swissler. I'm the principal of Einstein and Labs, and I have to admit I have no idea why I'm here. Uh, I was uh, flying around on my flying spaghetti monster on uh, Ken Trail and GMO Patrol when um, somebody slipped me a homeopathic, homeopathic roofie and I woke up and I showed up here. Um, my, uh, my practice does work in informal science and STEM education and we're looking to expand education programs around the Bay Area working on a big project down in the South Bay with Google and I'm just a friendly skeptic. Thank you. <laughs> And I run Monterey County Skeptics. Our skeptic camp is January 7th down in Monterey. And I also run GSOW, which is the Girl Skepticism of Wikipedia project. We have been endorsed by the Brzezinski Clinic, um, <laughs> Bola, uh, Natural News, Deepak Chopra, uh, Rupert Sheldrake, astrology no, astrology.com, and all the pseudoscience you can imagine has endorsed our project as being the most effective thing out there on the internet to change minds and really to improve education. We have a $100,000 challenge, just like Randy's, except we're still offering it, we stop. And uh, we meet monthly and figure out how to administer it. And I just spent 45 minutes in the breakout room explaining in great detail. If people want more detail, come to the table. Hi, I'm Frank Mosher. I'm the president of Sacramento Area Skeptics. And we have a very active uh, Facebook group, uh, Facebook uh, slash Sac Skeptics. And once a month at Hobby Brewing Company, on the fourth Friday of every month, we get even more drunk than the Bay Area Skeptics. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mike Hines with Sunday Assembly East Bay. Uh, we meet every um, third Sunday of the month, which is actually today, 11 a.m. in Berkeley. Uh, we're in a new location, South Center, Berkeley Senior Center. And we're one of 75 Sunday Assemblies worldwide, with our motto being live better, help often, and one more. Sure. 
Sunday Assembly has a secular core, live better, help often, and wonder more. We meet often for talks, songs, laughter, and walks. Celebrating <laughs> life, that's what our group is for. Although supernatural is not what we're about, all are welcome, skeptic or devout. There's coffee and cake, crafts for kids to make, so I hope all of you will come out. I'm Troy from Stanislaus Humanist, and if you want to know who we are, check out our squib on the back of your schedule. Um, I'm doing a couple plugs. Frank Mosier is going to be speaking at the Manteca Library this Wednesday, so if you're about and want to go hear, hear Mr. Mosher, come along. And we're having a big um, New Year Gala for all types of skeptical, humanist, atheist groups this year. We don't know where it's going to be yet, probably in our area, but we'd like to invite you all to come and we're going to get a block of rooms so you can stay the night. Hi, I'm Tom Manger with the Secular Coalition for California. We represent the atheist, agnostic, freethinker voice in Sacramento and across California. We're a lobbying organization. We fight to keep uh, evidence-based laws and keep religion out of them. Um, come back and visit me. I've got this, we had a lobby day on Friday, visited all 120 legislative offices. I've got a list of bills that we're supporting and a bunch of really crazy ones that we're opposing. Let's start that clock. My name is Tucker Hyatt. I'm the founding director of Wonderfest, the Bay Area beacon of science. Uh, Wonderfest, one of Wonderfest's many mottos is enlarging the concept of scientific community since 1987. We present public presentations uh, from science about science from scientists. And I want to tell you about some upcoming events. On Monday, May 16th, tomorrow in Palo Alto, Professor Sean Carroll of Caltech will talk about his recent book, The Big Picture. He'll be interviewed by um, uh, astrobiologist Lynn Rothschild. She's a great NASA employee, too. Uh, along with <laughs> Thursday, June 9th. Thursday, June 9th. Oh, no. Uh, Wonderfest.org. Please check it out.